we're back at a spot we've been to a few times. Uh, we've had a few good, good coins out here, 16th century, 17th century, 18th century, so it's a good place to come back to. We've been here a few times, but the grass has been long, so we had to just kind of stick to the outskirts and a few wee bits here and there. But it's just been cut maybe about four or five days ago, maybe a bit longer, so we're right down at the good levels. I came here last night, it was really just to check to see if it had been cut or not. And I just went across at my metal detector for five minutes and I found a 1797, I think it was, uh, two paints. Really good condition, bit toasted on the edges, but you can make out some detail, so good opportunities here. That side of the hill behind me seems to be more modern. 40s, early 1900s. Over this side of the hill seems to be very little modern. Few, few modern coins you'll always get, but the majority down deep is good targets. There's no really modern trash, cans, aluminiums, nothing like that, so it's really clean. But I'll get a few targets dug, get them marked out, I'll get you the targets. So what I've done is I've dug 12 targets. Uh, if you look just in front of the camera, you'll see all the wee potholes and grass tufts. Just up. I just popped them all, dug them all and popped them all out. Uh, I've not looked at them. There's only one that I can see that the, the fine's actually just sitting right in the top of the hole. So the rest of them I have no idea what they are. A few of them's good high targets. Few of them's quite low targets, so hopefully something decent. But we'll get to the first one. Yeah, we'll pick this one right here. We'll give it a listen. I can't remember what the numbers were on some of the targets. Yeah, so we'll listen to them together again. Let's see what we've got. So first one. Kinda. It's 82, 72, 82, 72, then every so often it goes down. So I suspect there might be a wee bit of iron in the hole, maybe a nail or something. Or it could be just a big lump of iron itself. So we'll have a wee dig at it and see. Same right on it there. So I think it's just below. I'm going to put the water up there. Just try and gently prise it out. I think I see something. That's difficult there. Ah, I think the first one's a, a lump of lead. With a hole in it. Hmm. Yeah, definitely got a hole. Just a lump of lead. Well, actually, it's got a hole in there as well. So that was clearly first something. It wasn't just a lump of lead. We'll put that in the bag and we'll have another listen at the hole. It was kind of jumpy, I'm not too sure why it was jumpy if it was that. Maybe it was slightly misshaped, so it could be that. Nope, that's it. Right, so we'll leave that for just now. And we'll carry on to the next hole. So first hole, a wee lead box type there. I'm not too sure exactly what they'd use that for. But this is our second hole. Right here. If you have a wee look, I'll, I'll just slowly bring you up. You can see all the targets, how close they are. There. They're all at least a metre, metre two apart. Just at the end of the fence, you see the long grass. There's a few targets just there as well. And I've went up that hill, and there's a few targets on the top of the hill. I, I think you can see one just sticking up right at the very top. 
But down here there seems to be a cluster. There, 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 there. Now, in a few videos ago I said that there was a path on the old maps. And this is exactly where that path is. So there's clearly a lot of things dropped. But we'll get this next one dug. Well, I'm listening to see what it is. This one's a bit lower. This one's like 55, 65, so maybe a wee button, something like that. Could be gold. Oh no, 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 no. Another wee bit of lead. Folded lead this time. Just sitting right in the top. Looks like it's been getting cut. Well, that's a good sign. That is definitely a good sign. So, pull two, a bit of lead. Give this a listen. Oh, it's in the, it's in the sod, this one. It's just right in here. Somewhere. Seems like it's right on top. Oh no, 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 no. What is that? Oh. Really old aluminium can. That's why that signal was jumpy. Sounded kind of like a ring or something with, with a hole, but aluminium all broke up. I'll give it another check just in case, but I think that's it. Yeah. Next one. So, two bits of lead, aluminium can. Next one. It was one of these that sounded really ridiculously high. It was like in the 90s. Unless there's a big wad of silver sitting there or something, I don't know, but I'm not sure if it's this target. No, oh, this is a good one. 7880, 7880. Sometimes that can be aluminium cans. What's in the hole? So I think we might be. I think we're in this. Like that. Right in here. It's getting a bit smaller now. Yeah. Nope. Oh. See something. Yeah, definitely see something. Oh, it's a wee lead weight. Small trade weight. With a very small bit of glass like it. I don't know if you'll see that there. Small piece of pottery, I think. Yeah, we small shade. Could be porcelain. On a wee weight. That's absolutely brilliant. So what does that say? <laughs> Definitely says something. You, you'll see that there, that definitely says something. 
Not sure what. That's brilliant. So, two bits of lead, I'm in and can, and a wee trade weight. So, I've got something. We'll give this hole a recheck, just in case. Oh, that's it. On to the next one. Just right behind here. Sets the whole hole. Just here. Start running right here. This is one of the, those strange targets where it, it, it jumps. So you're getting high numbers, low numbers, high numbers, low numbers. It's really just one of the ones you have to dig. So we'll give it a dig and we'll see. There we are. Hmm. A bit deeper. Small stone down there. So it's still down a bit deeper yet. It's really a really compacted base with a lot of stone. That's a good sign of it. Look, this was a path. I should try to get, get to where this is because it's a load of fallen brick, I think, sandstone. Hmm. I'm going to have a listen to this again. I'm suspecting this might be a lump of iron. Definitely give me a good signal. Yeah, I think I'm going to need to widen the hole because there seems to be a big stone that's stopping me getting to the point where the finds coming up. So as I said before, don't be worried about digging holes. Grass is resilient, it grows anywhere, everywhere. So. As long as you try and put it back nice and neat as you can, it'll be fine. So it's saying I'm right on it now. Oh, there we go. It's a coin. Yeah, it's definitely a coin. Toasted coin. Let's just sit out there just now. Yeah. I would suspect that's another one of those 1790s two pence. I'm sure it was George. Yeah. The one I found last night, I was seeing uh, it was well, a lot better than this. It was, you could see all the outer lining and you could see the inner picture. That one's really toasted. But, that's brilliant. As I said, when you find lead, then you know humans have been here and they've been working. If you're working, you can drop money, rings, anything. So there's two bits of lead. That lead is. Now with a bit of aluminium, which is modern, we had a trade weight and about 12 feet away from the tra trade weight we've got another 17th century, two pence. Really toasted but still a good thing. We'll give us all, give us all another check. That's 
just my tripod. No, oh, nothing. It's me just picking up a pinpointer. So, we'll go into the next hole. Next hole is just long. This one here. Do this one here. Sorry about that. A bit mixed target. I think this was the, the very high target in the 90s. It's not usually a good sign when you're when you're getting really high targets like that. Although it could be anything, you never know. No, I don't think this was the high one. I think that target there we just dug was the high one, but I think it just changed signal. Yeah, this signal seems to be at this side. In the 50s, 60s. Just down here. Oh, whatever it is, we've got it in here. Something. Another trade weight? No, I don't think so. No, it's not another trade weight. Oh, I think it's a wee grommet of some sort. A wee copper grommet. Could be off just about anything. Copper grot. On the next hole. We've got another three, I think, just here. Let's double check that hole. Yeah, nothing there. Another target. Just behind the camera. I think this one was in the 70s when it's still here. That's just a flat 79.80, 79.80, so that's a good sign. Oh no, not red. Big lump on the outside lead. Oh, that's a really good signal. A weirdly shaped lump of lead. Looks like a snowman or something. But whatever they've been doing with that, they've been pouring a lot of it anyway. It's really dense, heavy. We'll give the hole another check just in case there's something else. I think that high signal in the 70s and 80s, I think it's because it's so heavy and dense. Give it another check. As I said about the lead, you always find lead. Maybe there's people in these days. On to the next hole. Got one just over here. I think this might be the one where you can actually see it in the hole. Not sure. No, I don't think so. Not this one. Let's just do it here. Just give these a listen. 65, 66, so might be a wee button. Not that one. Not that one. 
this way. Let's see something. I don't think that's what's giving me a signal. Hmm. No idea. Just a kind of wee circle, it could be a watch face, possibly. It's got some sort of circle there, as if it could be the, the winding, but it seems solid, I don't understand about that before. It's really heavy. I'm going to check that signal again. Yeah, 60s. I think it could be part of an ornament or something. It's like as if it's got plaster on it or something. I don't know what that is. No idea. Seems to be something going through the middle. Put that back, give me a whole another check, go on to the next time. So, that's another buster. Oh, this is the one you can see it in it. Slightly, you can see the button just sitting there, right in the center. You can see the wee grey circle, the wee dot. That's that's the hole, I think, for the, the button. I'm sure I'm not too sure about it. looks like lead to me, but I'll back that off. Pull it out the wall and see. Take that out for a Deep bit iron, possibly. So, have we got a wee button? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a wee lead button. <laughs> a wee twig, put the holes back there. Possibly see the wee holes. I've got one. I'm done. So you can see the hole there. Some guy working. Possibly some girl. Bust off the top. And what do we do? Come 200 years later, possibly. And pull it out of the ground. Now I'm showing you it on YouTube. But we'll get that put by. I've got another one behind us. We'll go and check that just now, but we'll give the whole another check. I'm just getting a deeper target pinpoint over there, but I think it's iron. Yeah, just iron. On to the last one for down here, and then the next two's up on top of the hill. This next one's, I think it was in the 70s, but I'm not too hopeful. I think this could be a can, no modern, but you never know. Oh. 71.65 Just in the sod right here so, oh, in that right. so it's just in here, roughly So, just prise that apart Just softly Just watch what you're doing, just in case there's glass And that is a bit lower. Oh, I thought that target was a bit iffy. Bottle of some sort. 
It's okay. Yeah, that's definitely it. I wasn't too hopeful about that one. Nine times out of ten, at the edgy fields like this, it's that's where people will walk. They tend to just drop things. So we've got two more targets up the top of this hill. So we we'll make our way up the top of this hill. We've got two targets just at the top here. If I can find them again. I've seen a, that small cluster of finds when I was going through the metal detector, so I thought to myself, pop some of them out. Hopefully it would be a wee cluster of coins or something. I've got one coin, trade weight, a nice button, more evidence here. High sights, human, it's been here. This one, this one here. I'll give you a lesson. Mm, 55. Oh. That's why it was a strange signal. A bit of a spoon. End of the spoon. Upper spoon. Yeah. We end of a copper spoon. Now I know this this is where the house was. Roughly. The map's not too it's not too trustworthy, but I think it was here on the top of this hill, or at least at the side. So that's further evidence that we're on the right track anyway. Up here we are getting a lot of iron targets. A lot of iron hits up here. Too sure, I think this was in the seventies. Yes, 70, 69, 70, 66, so quite a good area, could be something interesting. If it could be a bit of a cabinet or an old hinge of some sort, it's definitely worth copper. Ah, uh, yeah, definitely worth copper. Some sort of bracket hinge to hold something. Definitely really old. No markings or writing on it, nothing like that. But we'll get it put back in the bag. What I'll do is I'll get a few more targets and the next ones we'll probably just dig them on camera to the next hole. 